Hello, today we're gonna be discussing how to add integers. But before we talk about how to add integers, we have to talk about additive inverses. That is gonna be our first vocabulary word. You can see here, additive inverse. Let's write down the definition. An additive inverse is when you add two opposites the sum is zero okay I'm just gonna fix my t here the sum is zero so let's do some examples. What is an example of an additive inverse? Well, if I wanted to add two, what is the opposite of two? Negative two, and two plus negative two is zero. So two and negative two are additive inverses of each other. What about negative five? Well, the opposite of negative five is going to be positive five, and that's gonna equal zero. So let's do some practice on what this looks like. And then we are going to discover some rules to make this a little easier. So in our first example, we have negative one. And I'm gonna just show a negative one with a little red negative sign here. And I'm gonna add three more negatives. So here's one, two, three. Now, how many do I have total? Well, I have one, two, three, four. So this is gonna equal four negatives. That is gonna be my answer. Over here, example two, I have five negatives. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna add four more negatives. One, two, three, four. Now, how many do I have all together? Well, I have five here plus four. That's gonna be a total of nine negatives. And then in my last example, I have three negatives here. So one, two, three. And then I have eight negatives here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many do I have all together? I have 11 negatives. Okay, what do you notice? Well, one thing that you might notice is if you have, if you're adding two negatives, you're really just adding them together and then keeping the negative sign. So that's gonna be rule number one right here. And what we're gonna write is, we're gonna write this as our, if I can get my cursor here, this is gonna be our same sign rule. Or in other words, Add and keep. And what this says is if you add two integers, with the same sign, then you're going to add the integers and keep the negative sign. And keep the negative sign. Okay, so what do we do if they are not the same sign. Well, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna change the color here to green. So here I have nine positives. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw nine positive X's or 
pluses here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm going to go ahead and add four negatives. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what happens when we talked about additive inverse at the inverses at the beginning, remember? Well, if you have one positive and a negative, they're going to cancel each other out. They're going to get a zero. You're going to get a zero. So these cancel each other out. This positive and negative cancel each other out. And this positive and negative cancel each other out. So what do we have left? We have one, two, three, four, five positives left. So this is going to equal five. Okay. So let's look at example two. I have six positives, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm adding five negatives. So here is one, two, three, four, five. So let's see how many cancel out. So these cancel, these cancel, these cancel, these cancel, and these cancel. And what do you have left? positive one. Okay, let's try this last one. I have three negatives, wrong color, one, two, three, plus seven positives, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so how many cancel out here? One, two, three. So how many do I have left? Positive four. Okay, what do you notice? Well, I'm noticing that I have to cancel some of them out, which mean I end up really subtracting. And then what else do I notice? I notice that every time the number is bigger, like this, six, the absolute value of six is bigger than the absolute value of negative five. So my answer, since six is bigger, my answer, and it's positive, my answer is positive. Same here. Seven is bigger and it's positive. So my answer is positive. That's going to be rule number two. So rule number one was about the same sign when both your numbers are negative. Rule number two is going to be different signs. What happens when you have different signs? Well, we're going to subtract both, whoops, I spelled subtract wrong. Sorry about that. Let's see if I can spell it right. Forgot my C. Subtract both integers and take the sign of the bigger, I don't want to say bigger value because that's not always true, right? So I'm going to say the bigger and in parentheses absolute value, take the bigger sign of the absolute value. I hope that helps you with adding integers. Thank you so much. Check out, make sure to check out our next video.